Hello everyone, I'm Fi, and today on Unboxing for YouTube, we're going to be opening up this box here. Oh. Alright, we have our Shave Well Fog Free Shower Mirror. Now, I purchased this because the other shower mirror I had broke, and I got this as a replacement. So, I will be right back. We're going to hook this up and install it and see how well it holds up. So, stay tuned. I'm back. We're in my echoey bathroom. Welcome. As you can see, I'm still wearing the Lycra headband from an earlier unboxing, giving us some real world out testing. But speaking of real world testing, we're going to put this up. The shower mirror. I apologize for the sound in the video. I'm on my phone. Let's try and put this on. The previous shower mirror I had is actually in here. It was this one. The suction cups, like this fell and broke. Like this thing fell so many times. And that's the real test for me of how good this is going to be, is how it will hold up in the shower. Okay, so this is it. Apparently, this is the deluxe version, and that means that this is 30% larger than their other fog-free shower mirror. Let's put that on there. Okay, that was nothing important. Just the uh, little hook thing that looks like it has one of those wall sticky things on the back. I'm not used to that. I'm used to the suction cups. But it says remove off-white protective coating. Um, number two, placing the hook, clean the area, dry it, and then peel covering on adhesive and apply constant pressure for 15 seconds, let hook set before using. And that's all there is in the package, it's just this thing and this thing. I did clean this already, should be good to go. Remove protective coating. If you don't have nails, this is not easy. So shave while you can make this a little easier by giving us a tab. Okay, there we go. Finally got it. Don't want to cut myself, it's very... It's just sharp, so... Okay. And there we go. It's installed, it's up. I will do an update here in a day or two to make sure it is still hanging up there after it goes through a few shower cycles to make sure that it in fact stays through the steam and the heat and all that stuff. Stay tuned for that update and keep on watching. Hello everyone, we have an update on the shower mirror. It's been up for three days and it fell from up here all the way down to here and took the body wash with it. It looks like the clippy thing is here. I'm not gonna disparage the product. I'm not gonna say it was a bad product by any means. It survived the fall and didn't break, so that's a good thing. I'm either gonna try and find one of my suction cups with a hook on it, or see if I get a stronger one of these to hang it back up, and we'll give it another test run. But this is update number one. It lasted three days, about six showers before it fell off the tile onto the tub, so. All right, and I'm back. And I'm here to give my third and final review on the Shavewell fog-free shower mirror. I've owned it for about a week now. It is a few days since the last update that you just watched when it fell in the shower for the first time. It has fallen a few more times since, and I'm giving up. I don't understand how to get it to stick onto my tile. I used the regular plastic hook that it came with. Then I used a 3M, like one of those scotch strips that's supposed to hold a lot of weight. Put that on the back of the hook, put the hook back on the wall, put this back on there, it fell again. And then I used a suction cup that I had because I have random things in my craft room and I have a couple suction cups. So I used one of those and that held the longest, but then yesterday it fell again. I don't like to give negative reviews on things. The actual mirror itself is good quality. 
all three times it fell, it did not break, not at all, it's still intact. So that's a positive. Now to address the fog free part, that actually did work. You have to take the mirror off of the hook, hold it under the water, once it's at the temperature you like for a few seconds, and then put it back on. And the mirror magically, through witchcraft, adapts to the temperature and doesn't fog up. This actually worked. I was really surprised. I'm kind of disappointed that I can't get it to stay up. If anyone has any magical solutions to that, I'd be really willing to hear it. Put them in the comments below. Like I said, I used a 3M strip, I used a suction cup, I used the sticky thing that came with it. I just don't like something that I am afraid is going to fall on me. It's going to hurt. On the back it says, guaranteed fog free experience. I found that to be true. Adhesive hook ensures a secure hold on like traditional suction cups. Not for me. This could work for someone else. Maybe I just have bad luck. Me and gravity don't get along in general, so it could be that. Unbreakable mirror is removable for easy cleaning. Fell three times, did not break once. Great for travel. I can see this, it's very tiny. You can put this, you just slide this into luggage and you're good to go. Other than it not being able to stay up, it's, it's not a bad little mirror. I just couldn't get it to stay on the wall. And that's the only negative thing I have to say about it. So if you don't have constant battles with gravity like I do, this might be perfect for you. It's tiny, it's lightweight, which is really mystifying that it fell. But like I said, gravity, I'm really 50-50 on it. If it stayed on the wall, I would definitely say get this. It is fog free. You gotta follow the instructions to do it. So that's that. I'll give it a B. If I was gonna grade it, I'd give it a B. If you can get the actual hook to work with it, you're good. And in the future, I will do an actual review of this if I can get it to stay up and I will let you know what I did, what I used, if it worked and how well it's been working without the fear of having my feet sliced open by, you know, scary gravity blade and mirror. So thank you for watching. If you liked what you saw, shoot us a like, subscribe to our channel. We do at least three videos a week across all the channels. We are very active and I will see you next time. Have a good night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are. Cheers.